Hi class, welcome to topic three, DQ2. All right, so in this DQ, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be taking an amount, we're gonna be investing it, we're going to try to find the interest, we're gonna add the interest onto our principal amount, and we're gonna find the value of the account. We are gonna use auto the autofill feature in our table to complete our table today. So if you are unfamiliar with that, make sure you take time and check out my other video that will specifically go over the autofill and how to make the autofill work for you. Okay, so when you open up the sheet, you're gonna be broken it down into three steps. When you open the sheet, please use the one attached to my extra help and instructions. Um, there is a version in Alex, there's a couple typos in that version. So I adjusted the typos and then saved the sheet. So this one is going to be a little better just without the typos. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is the total interest earned that is already filled out for you for the first 10 years. Notice you've got your locking in your cells here with the dollar signs and then we're letting that C8 float. So we are taking the principal times the rate times the number of years. So the first thing I'm gonna do, since this is already set up for me, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom of the table using that autofill. Okay. So now that we've got our interest all figured out using the autofill, now we're going to calculate the value of the account. So the way we're setting up this problem is we're going to take the total interest earned and add that onto our principal amount. These values in this col column D, these are calculating the total amount of interest earned after that certain period of time. So what that means is you do not wanna keep compiling interest on interest on interest for your principal amount. So make sure you are taking each of these values of the account and adding them onto the principal, that original $600, and not adding it onto the previous value of the account. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, we are going to put our equal sign in, we're going to sell reference at $600. That's our principal amount. I'm going to sell reference it where it's in our table in E2. And then I'm going to take that $600 and I want to add on the principal for this period of time, which is going to be sitting next to our cell. That's at $30. So I'll take that $600 plus the principal after one year. And that will give me the new value of the account. And then I can keep repeating the process. So I'm going to take the 600 again, add it on to my new interest. Take the 600, add it on to the new interest. So as you're doing these formulas, you can use that autofill feature to do all this for you. So you don't have to keep typing it in by hand. When you do that autofill feature, I'm going to give you a hint. You're going to be locking in one of your cells and not the other. So you only lock in one, you'll let one float. I'm going to leave you guys to try to figure out which way that should go. Um, and then do remember you do have unlimited attempts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out my table without the autofill feature up until this red cell. So I'm keep adding that 600 onto the most recent percentage. Okay. So now Step one, you'll finish filling out the table. So you'll fill out the table all the way down. So let me go ahead and do that and then we will pop back on. Okay, so I finished filling out my table. I used the autofill feature. First thing to notice is that red box outlining that cell E8 has disappeared. Um, so you can go ahead and put a solid line around that E8 if you want to, you can add in a border, um, but just keep remembering, we're gonna keep referencing that cell E8. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a thick border around it so we can easily see it as we're going through these problems. Okay, so step one is to complete the table. So we've got our table completed, we're good to go on that step. Step two, we are gonna experiment with different values in A2 until the value after 10 years is exactly $10,000 and one cent. So that means this box that I've outlined that's why I was outlined to begin with. This box I that is outlined, I want this to be at $10,000 and one cent. $10,000 and one cent. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to this principal up here in green and you're gonna experiment with different values until you get that to be $10,000 and one cent. So you can go up here, you can try to type in 900. All the values in your table will change as long as you've set up the formulas with cell references. And you see 900 is a little bit too low. 
So when you keep trying, let's say, let, let's go all the way up to 10,000. Whew, 10,000 is too high. Get, got us to 15,000. So you keep trying like that. You want to get exactly $10,000 and one cent with experimenting with the principal value. There are ways to solve for this. And I have posted an extra DQ that goes over how to solve and it goes over an example. So if you don't want to keep guessing and checking, check out that solving algebraically post and then it can help you save some time. Okay, so then after you get this cell to be $10,000 and one cent, you're going to write down the value you got in this green text box. Um, you can put it where it says answer here. You can put it below. Um, please note if you type down here, and click out of the box, it will disappear. But when I click on it, I can see what I typed. So just keep that in mind. If it disappears, it happens, it's okay. All right, after you get that green step done, we're gonna set this back to 600. We're gonna set our table back to the original table. Now we're gonna experiment with different rates. And for the rates, we're gonna try to get this cell to be $10,000 exactly. So no one cent. $10,000 exactly. So when you do the rate, remember you are working with a rate. So you're not going to be putting something like 10,000 in. You could be putting something like two or less into this cell, two or less. So you could try something like maybe 8%. 8% gives us to $1,080. We need 10,000. So we need to go a lot higher. So if we go up to two, two got us a little too high. So we need to try, try to start finding something in the middle. Again, I do go over how to set up this equation and how to solve for the rate that is in my solving algebraically post. So if you do not want to guess and check, you can go check out that post for help on solving this. Once you find that rate, so once you find the rate that gives you $10,000 in this E8 cell, just like with the principal, you'll put that number in this blue box and then you'll take this and you'll set it back to 0.5 um, and then go ahead and just set this as a percentage. And then you can add in more decimal places if you want. Uh, we can go ahead and bump it up to four. If you bump it up to four, you do need to widen that cell out. All right, so you've got three steps to do. You need to fill out the table, use that autofill feature, practice using that. You need to find a principal value that gives you $10,000 in one cent with that rate of 5%. And then you need to find a rate that gets you $10,000, but make sure you set that principal back to $600 when you experiment with that rate. And again, if you don't wanna guess and check and you want to solve using equations, go check out my extra DQ, Solving Algebraically. It'll help you walk through setting up the formulas and it'll give you an example on solving. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Let me guys know if you guys, let me know if you guys have any questions at all.